and welcome back to the third episode of Forum Theater's Open Access, right on the set of Scorched. Today we're going to be talking to the three Noals, who are three actresses who all play the same character in Scorched. Welcome. Uh, could the three of you please introduce yourself and tell me uh, which Noal you play? Sorry, okay. <laughs> Donna Levinovsky, I play Noal from ages 14 to 19. Uh, Amy McWilliams, and I play Noel 40 to 45. And I'm Rena Cherry Brown, and I play Noel 60 to 65. What's it been like doing this play and working together? General thoughts on how it's been going? It's really fascinating to be able to, you know, as, a, as, a, as an actor, you try to create the backstory. Mm -hmm. It's already created for me. So yeah. a little bit schizoid. Schiz because, <laughs> you know, um, not having been those people... It's like you almost have to kind of try to separate yourself out from the role. I try to separate myself because I've already been there and I don't know what that is. We also, when rehearsals started, we un even the first day, we unintentionally all sat, sat together. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it just kept repeating itself for a couple of days until I think one of the actors just sat in the middle and kind of like this separated us. us. <laughs> Let's talk about process for a second. Um, in the rehearsal process, how much or how little did you guys work together, and how much or how little did you kind of work on your character by yourself? Um, it was, I think it was mostly a matter of watching each other in process, you know, like mm -hmm. um, we weren't all on the call on the same nights because we were in different scenes, sure. and so there were a lot of evenings I wasn't even called because um, I'm not in as many, you know, scenes as they are, so it was, um, for, for me, um, it was sort of it was sort of hard for me. I had to go back and and start studying it once they were up and on their feet and going because mm -hmm. it, I wasn't there during. Right. You know. Yeah. It's not. I mean, it's not like we we like sat down and made choices between <laughs> the three yeah. of us. Yeah. It was very much um, informed by the text, um, which is kind of what you should be doing in your just process. A, just as our an actor. one choice. Yeah, we, made, we, did we make wanted to do one thing that carried oh. through. Don't give it away. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. See if people oh, can oh, figure it out. Let's move right along. This was surprising to me how useful watching them was because uh, um, one of the pinnacle, one of the most important plot lines is this relationship that Nawal has with, for example, her friend Sauda. And the the, mo most of the scenes with Sauda and Wall together are actually with Amy's character. And so watching the relationship between you two older really helped me to understand how it has to start. Well, I, and I, I was really actually curious once we did the design run to see the whole piece together because I was curious about how it worked for the, the, for the three Nawals, mm -hmm. you know, through the course of the play. And um, I was... You know, not not knowing what to expect, I, I at the end of that night, it was like I completely buy yeah. that we are the same person. That's great. You know, which was which was a relief. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was like, <laughs> Scorched has been running for a week or two now. Um, can we get a report on how it's going? How our audience is reacting? How's it going for you guys? We got a few standing ovations. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's been, you know, I haven't had a chance to have a, a lot of talks with people. Um, but it, it cer it's certainly, because it is such an epic piece, there's, a, there's a, almost a, a speechlessness at the end for a lot of audience members, I think. And I think, I think that's a great thing. I mean, I, I think the scope of this piece and the journey that it takes the audience on is so big that, that you do need time to process it. And in the same line, some people say they want to see it again right. because there's just too much mm -hmm. information. Yeah. They want to be able to now go back and catch everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I've heard that from several people. You, yeah. What are you going to take from this production as an actor and just as a, as a person? It's been an interesting experience to work uh, closely uh, in the psyche, now, not just handing off like you do a baton. This is much more than that. Mm -hmm. it's, it really is a journey. I mean, there's a couple of different things that, that um, really touch me. Um, one is is being able to explore some really uh, dark and scary things that happen to people, and this stuff mm -hmm. happens to people, and the reality of you know where the writer 
came from and his life experiences and, ha and the reality that we're giving people about that in a very visceral way. I was struggling one day, and I feel like in terms of listening, this relates, because Michael was saying to me, he said, I told him how the scenes go by so quickly, and I and he said, Donna, you just have to remember to be in the moment and just don't think about what's coming or what's before. If you just and it's like a lesson that we all know, but to remember to stay present and if you are listening in the moment and what's happening right now, the rest just comes naturally. Well, this is fantastic. Uh, thank you, Nawals, Thanks. and uh, we'll uh -huh. be seeing you soon. Thank you.